Hi, I'm Richard Bogert, President of Bogert Aviation, and I've been a professional aircraft mechanic for 37 years and hold, have held an inspection authorization for over 30 years. Uh, some time ago, back, back in the mid-80s, I had an FBO called Bogart Aviation, and we, we specialized in aircraft maintenance. Many of my customers had problems with slow cranking speed, particularly on Piper aircraft. And I had one customer in particular who had just replaced the engines on his Seneca. And we started doing some troubleshooting because brand new engines, he couldn't get them started. We found that we had good battery voltage, uh, and even jump-starting the airplane, putting the jumper cables on it, we still couldn't seem to get enough power to the starters to crank these engines over. But finally, I checked the voltage right at the starter and discovered that we only had about five volts at the starter. Well, something was wrong. I started checking components, relays, switches, connections. Everything seemed good. And finally, I took a voltmeter, put it right across one of the cables and checked it, and sure enough, we had voltage drop across the cable itself. Cable. When I started checking the other cables, they all had voltage drop across them too. And combining, adding up all the voltage drops, it was significant. There was no what reason, no wonder, that the starter didn't perform very well. We replaced the aluminum starter and battery cables with copper cable assemblies, and, and the difference was amazing. The starter would crank over the engine so fast you couldn't count the blades going by. The owner was amazed, I was amazed. The difference was going from the aluminum cables to the copper cables. A simple fix, but really made a difference. Um, now, we applied to the FAA for an STC on the copper cable kits, and we received our STC in 1986, originally just for Piper aircraft. Senecas, Cherokees, Comanches, and so forth. And later, we added other models. So now we literally have hundreds of aircraft models that are covered by this STC for the copper cable kits. Now, Piper issued a service bulletin in 1986. It was service bulletin 836 and 836A. The service bulletin basically stated that they recommended that the aluminum cables be removed from the Piper aircraft and replaced with copper cable assemblies because of fire hazard danger to the aircraft. And we have removed many, many, many cables from aircraft and found severe heat damage, melted insulation, um, you know, scorched insulation, upholstery within the aircraft, all because of high heat on the cables. If you own a Piper aircraft, you owe it to yourself to look into your aircraft, find out if you have copper cables already. If you do, great. If you don't, you really need to consider replacing the aluminum cables with copper cable assemblies. It'll make a big difference. If you're experiencing slow cranking speeds, hard starting, a good chance that's what the problem is. Many of these battery and starter cables have been in service for a long time. You know, whether the cables have been in service for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, or more, time takes, takes a toll on these cables. Uh, they're good, but even copper cables will corrode over time, and uh, they need, need some attention. Uh, this is an example of the kinds of things that we've pulled out of aircraft. Braided insulation gone, uh, heat damage, uh, discolored, so forth. And this is an example of the copper cable assemblies that we build today, each and every day. We use one gauge copper cable. We use, have test fill insulation that uh, will not support combustion, does not give off toxic fumes if exposed to flame or heat. And uh, we use a process that swedges the terminals on uh, so tight that they're not going to come loose. Come visit us today on the web at www.bogart-ev.com or call us at 1-800-627-8088 or 509-736-1513. You can reach our sales staff through email at info at bogartaviation.com. Thank you very much.